Right, so this is the soundboard on the bench, and on these uh, Bally soundboards, the volume control here, this is the master volume control, uh, these get dead spots on them, so you adjust it to a certain position, and then after a while it goes dead, and you get no sound, then you have to move it again, and so on and so on. So, you know, they're not very high quality, they oxidise, so, I mean, you can clean them to some extent, but they're just going to keep doing the same thing. So, I'm just going to replace that with a brand new one, with a bit better quality, so I'll fit that on. Um, I'll just desolder that one. And there we go, that's the new volume control fitted. So while we're on the bench, we're also going to take a look at the CPU drive board. Um, so as you saw in a previous video clip, um, we had a lamp out. Have I got this upside down? No, I haven't. Right. Where is it? Q57. So yeah, we had the uh, 1000 bonus out and the 100 voltage out. Um, I believe that's Q57 there. So we're going to take that out, test that, and if it's bad, we're going to put a new one in. Yeah, so this transistor measured bad, so I, I metered it with a diode test, and it was reading open circuit on all junctions. So that's a uh, 2N5060, so we've desoldered it from there, we're going to bend the leads out on this new one and fit it in. Now, some of these other transistors have already been replaced, as we can see from the flux marks, um, and the leads are quite long, so I've just trimmed the leads down, I'm just going to clean them up now, get some flux removed on all this whole area now, because this is all, you know, this stuff eventually can go corrosive and or conductive if it's left, this is like no clean solder with the brown sludginess, so I'm going to get all that cleaned up, and that should all be good. Okay, so the boards are back in now, so we've done the transistor for the lamps, and we've done the volume control for the soundboard. Um, just need to get down here and switch the plugs on. And then we'll give it a fire up and see what it does. Okay, it's starting its boot sequence. That's working with dim. Hmm. That might have a duff ball. See, the 100's working fine now. I'm going to check that bulb out on the 1. I think all the lamps are now working. Can you get a proper checking over? I also think that's a flasher. I'm going to check that one out. It might be a bulb. So we'll have to get the glass off and check that out. Okay, so I've put it in all lamp test mode, and let's just go through. We can see that absolutely everything is working. Uh, that there's a flasher. Um, these are flashers here, these three. These are actually working, even though they don't light up in a track mode. Uh, that special is not working, I think. I'm not sure if that is a flash or a normal, but it is definitely not lighting up anyway, because I've been through all the flash tests as well. Uh, so, yeah, I think absolutely every one now, apart from the special. So, we just need to sort that one out now. There you go, the special's replaced, so that's the last bulb. All bulbs are now working. So we've got the Strange Science CPU back on the bench, and the reason was, uh, there was a couple of times when it wouldn't boot, and all I had to do was basically poke on the socketed chips, and then it would boot up. So as you can see, I've removed all of the socketed chips, and we've got a pile of brand new turn pin sockets here to fit, so we'll do that. Additionally, while I'm at it, I'm going to replace this power connector here as well, with the newer Molex type. So we'll do that, and that should make this rock solid with any luck. Oh, I'm sure it will, but let's get on with it now. And through the magic of video editing, we are able to jump to where all the sockets have been fitted, as well as the new power connector has been fitted to. And through further magic video editing, we now have all the ICs fitted, and it's ready to go back in the machine. So now it's time to strip down the playfield. So we're going to take everything off. We're going to clean the playfield, clean all the plastics, put new rubber on, and it should all look very nice. I mean, it doesn't look terrible now, but the rubbers are pretty old and you know worn, a bit floppy. And some of these posts look pretty crappy. So uh, yeah, so once we've done that, it's going to look pretty good. Right, so I've just finished the full strip down and clean. So everything's been taken off the playfield, everything's been cleaned, all the plastic's been cleaned, new rubbers everywhere. Uh, and this game's pretty much finished now. So what I'm going to do next is I'll show you the actual strip down process, but we'll we'll speed the video up because it, it's actually been a few hours work and you don't want to watch that in real time, do you? So we'll, we'll do it like at 10 times speed or something. Uh, I was going to do a final check over, make sure every switch and every bulb's working. And uh, this is pretty much good to go.